Hello and welcome to the box set room. So I wanted to document the box sets I have and I started with this one. Why did I start with this one? Because I'm pretty sure this is the first ever actual box set that I purchased for myself because I like the look of the items you get inside the box. So I wanted to do really a definitive review on this box set because I see a lot of box set reviews on the internet and yeah they sugarcoat over a lot of the stuff or they just don't seem to pay attention to what these box sets actually get. Now interesting little fact, I never actually really enjoyed this film until I got this box set and I watched it at a time where my taste in films had changed rapidly and I ended up really liking it. I thought it was actually a pretty silly film um, with some really serious moments in obviously. But yeah, I went on to end up really enjoying watching this film. So. This box set is really, really nice. This is the Scarface box set. It's the Cigar Case edition. And the extras in it are fantastic. So this is the J card. There is a bit of damage. I've had this for many, many years. It has been out a long time. It's been out since 2011 wow okay so it is quite an old box set I haven't had it that long I think I've had mine four or five years so let's get into this sleeve slides off and we have a Scarface logo the put these bands over cigars showing you the quality I guess um, but they put Scarface on it with TM I think this is the original Scarface logo because this is actually a remake and then we have TM on the note little cool touch all the writing on this by the way is gold or gold inlay looks amazing I love the TM logo has it on all the sides as well nothing on the underneath and again on the sides okay enough for the outside the box itself is pretty sturdy uh, there is some bumps and dings again this is just three years of me owning it but the box itself is really well made So first off, is the envelope, and this is, I guess, to represent when they get their green cards, but in this one, there is a number of right. The best item, the Tony Montana green card. Brilliant. It's very good. It is made out of, I'm pretty sure it's just laminated cardboard to give it that plastic card look. I guess plastic was more expensive to print on, so they just printed it on card and then laminated it. But they've done a good job. It's a very nice card, double printed as well, so you have the back and the front, which is uh, again a good little touch, very cool card, It's it would have been nicer if it had his sort of mug shot on it instead of him posing with his cigar, but I'm guessing this was just a, an after thought, and, or they didn't have any available.
Next is the note. TM. I trust me. <laughs> I like the I trust me. Um, the note itself, yeah, the quality is quality is not the best. I think it could have been better. Uh, the papers. I think they tried to go for the feel of money, but. Yeah, it just feels a bit cheap. It feels like it's literally come off a just a, a cheap printer, and you can see the uh, image. It's just been sort of superimposed onto this generic banknote. Like it would have been nice if they changed that to the colour of the note as well. Maybe again with a different pose, but they use the same pose on the note and the green card. Next we have five art cards of all the characters from the films first. Gina, Tony's sister. So they all have the generic postcard form. Be interested to know if anyone actually sends these postcards. I'm sure somebody has at one point in their life. Next. Tony Montana himself in the famous chair, famous pose with alcohol and drugs on the table. Same again on the back, it's just a postcard form, but very nice. The quality is great, it's just the quality of a standard postcard, but it's got a nice high gloss finish, and the uh, pictures are really clear as well. I've got some box sets where the pictures are, uh, you can tell they've been blown up from a, a still image and they are quite either grainy or blurry or soft focus, but these are really good quality. Next one. Again. Really good quality, same back, all got the same backs, same quality, but again, very good, very good high gloss finish, nice clear photos. And last but not least, Manny. Interesting fact, he was the only, only person on the set who is actually Cuban. <laughs> so I found that quite interesting, that he was the only actual Colombian, uh, sorry, Cuban on set. And then next up we have reflections on Al Pacino Scarface, and um, it's a very nice Again, high gloss finish, but this one's been scratched over the years, I think, just because I've had this as displays and people have looked at the box set. And, but I'm, I'm no longer a, a perfectionist collector, so I'm not too worried about a few scratches. The book is really nice. It's a very good read. Uh, I won't read it all now, but I will in a later video. And I'll just give a quick rundown of the pictures. I suppose you could pause and read. Again, really good quality. This is one of the things that attracted me to this box set is the quality of the material inside because again some box sets are just yeah they're not they're not the best very nice very nice box 
And last but not least is the Steelbook Edition Scarface. Um, I love the back. This should have been better on the front, I think. This should have been on the front. But it's still a nice, still a nice steel book. Steel book's in very good condition. I've always made sure to keep it in very nice condition. It's got a very nice uh, glossy red cover to it. Uh, so you get three discs when they used to do digital copy, DVD copy, and the Blu-ray itself. Uh, the code doesn't work anymore. It's probably been used anyway. Not by me, but it has been used. And it's very, very nice artwork on the inside as well. Some Blu-rays, Steelbooks, don't have artwork on the inside, but this is one that does. I love this picture. This is a great picture. It's a great photo. And underneath, you can hear these ones haven't been out of the case ever. So another great photo inside. Again, the quality of this is fantastic. The use of the artwork and the images that they've used are great. They're absolutely fantastic. So that's Steelbook. And last but not least, it's the TM Money Clip. Now this is really nice. Uh, I will polish it a little bit. There we are. This is really nice. This is one of the best things in this box set by far. To be honest, it's probably the best. Uh, try and focus. There we go. Really nice TM on the money clip itself and if it's not stainless steel it's still really good quality um, the feel of it it's really weighty it's not it doesn't feel cheap like a cheap metal it feels really good quality um, I've never used this again just leave it in for display but this is the thing that everybody likes in the whole box set I've had a few friends who wanted to take it out of the box because <laughs> they really like it but this is great this is probably the uh, best piece in here by far and there you have it this is a review of my first box set that I ever bought um, and this would cause me to collect a lot more box sets those you will see in future videos so please if you did enjoy this video like subscribe and come back and i will be filming a lot more box sets that i have